Hi, my name is Rosalie Gillis Madden, and I'm the vegetable specialist at Perennia. Leek moth is a new pest in Nova Scotia. The way that it, it overwinters as either an adult or as a pupa, and the first flight happens around the end of April, the beginning of May. The adult moth will lay several hundred eggs over the course of its lifespan, and there are up to three generations per year. The eggs are very, very small and very hard to see with the naked eye, and the larvae are also very small and often will tunnel right into um, a leek or a garlic or an onion or other alliums and can be hard to identify. The best way to identify whether or not you have leek moth in your allium crop would be to look for frass or insect poop from the larva. Another way to, to uh, determine if you have leek moth is by setting out pheromone traps, which is what we're going to show you how to do today. Leek moths will lay their eggs on the bottom side of a leaf, and then the, once the larva hatches, they'll often go down. Sometimes you can see mining on the leaf surface, and they will go down and into the stem of the plant. That's why they're so hard to see is because they're often on the interior of the plant, which is why looking for frass is your best way to identify whether or not you have leek moth if you're not using pheromone traps. Hi, I'm Caitlin Condon. I'm a research associate at Perennia, and we're here setting up our monitoring uh, traps for leek moth in a garlic field. Since we're doing this um, trapping all around the province, it poses a bit of a biosecurity issue. So we want to make sure we wear uh, plastic booties and gloves so that we don't transport any soil burn diseases between allium fields. So we're going to set up the leek moth trap in a garlic field. We're just going to push the post into the ground and it has a hook on the top and we will hang the Jackson trap from the hook. And it should sit a little bit above the crop level. Next step is to take the sticky trap and open it up. Very sticky, you'll definitely want gloves for this. And insert it into the Jackson trap. Sticky side up. Then we'll take the lure. This is what will attract the leek moth to the trap. This is what the pheromone looks like for the leek moth trap. Now we're going to insert the lure into the leek moth trap. And we're ready to catch some leek moths. So when you come to change the leek moth trap, you're going to put on your gloves and just slide the sticky card out. Once the card is out, you're going to roll it into a cylinder and secure it with an elastic band. Once it's secured with an elastic band, you'll take a permanent marker and write all the relevant information on it. You want to put the date, the farm name, the field, the crop, the pest, which is leek moth, and the sampler initials.